Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about ACTH stimulation test. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the useful and valuable information with you. First of all, let us understand what is ACTH test. ACTH test tells how well your adrenal glands respond to ACTH hormone or ACT hormone. ACTH is a hormone that is produced in the pituitary gland that stimulates adrenal glands to release a hormone known as cortisol. Just now I took two names. One is adrenal gland and the other is pituitary gland. Do you know what are they and where are they? Let's talk about pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is present in the basement of your brain and adrenal glands are present right above your kidney. Pituitary gland is basically a pea-sized and adrenal glands a little bit bigger than pituitary glands. Also, I'm pretty sure you might have heard the name cortisol in your everyday life. Now, let us learn how is this test done. Well, this test is also very simple. For this test, small amount of blood sample is drawn from your body. After the first sample is drawn from the body, you will receive an injection in the muscle of the arms. This injection contains synthetic or artificial ADCH. Then you might be asked to sit for 30 minutes to 1 hour. After 30 minutes or 60 minutes, depending how much ACTH was given, your doctor will again take the second sample. Now this sample will be sent to the lab for further investigation. Apart from this test, your doctor might advise you to get some other tests as well. Other tests might include urine cortisol test or urine 17 ketosteroid test in which you have to take urine sample of 24 hours. Now, how do you prepare yourself for the test? For this test, you might need to prepare yourself. You have to stop eating 6 hours or 12 hours depending on the doctor. You also need to stop your medications 24 hours before the test. But make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications which you are taking including OTCs which means over the counter pills. Now the next question, how the test will feel? As you know for this test, two times needle is inserted to get the blood out and one time you get injected. So you just feel slight pain and that's all. Sometimes in rare cases, some people get reaction after getting injection of the ACTH. But don't worry because it all happens in safe environment in front of doctors. So if there is anything, doctors are there to take care. Now, why the test is performed? Why do you need this test? This test basically tells if your adrenal glands and pituitary glands are working normally. Also, if your doctor finds there is a risk of Addison disease or pituitary insufficiency, your doctor might ask for this test. Now, let's talk about normal values of the result. So, for especially this test, the normal values differ from lab to lab. It is always advisable to not to interpret results or report by yourself. But generally speaking, the value of ACTH stimulation test should be somewhere 18 to 20 microgram per deciliter. What if your result is not normal? What does it mean? This test is very much helpful in finding out some conditions such as Addison's disease or if there is an acute adrenal crisis or if your pituitary gland is not producing enough hormones. Now, what are the risks of this test? Do you have any risk or is this test safe? As I told you, this test is pretty simple and easy. Most of the times there are no risks and no side effects. Also remember, before taking this test, it is advisable for you to refrain from smoking or drinking two days prior to this test. This test is very important for people suffering from Addison's disease, metabolic disorders or Cushing syndrome. Sometimes if your doctor notices some signs or symptoms such as round face, excessive weight loss, loss of appetite, sleep troubles, digestive problems, increased hair growth on hands, then your doctor might ask you to get it done. Remember, this test is very important in normal functioning of the hormone cycle. Also, a quick reminder, it is very important to get tested from a reliable and reputed lab. A link to a reliable and reputed lab will be provided to you in the description box below. 
If you have any questions or suggestions related to the video, please feel free to mention in the comment box. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.